Hello. These are my fridge potatoes. From the left, Winston, then Charlotte, then Maris Pia, then Jazzy. These were potatoes that were got at the beginning of the year but weren't sown in a pot. Instead I kept them in the fridge um, as fridge potatoes to delay the chitting process. Um, they've been in these pots now for about three weeks and the pots are just less than half full of compost so we need to top them up now. Uh, we need to top them up with compost and I've actually got some spare compost because if you followed my channel you'll know lately I've been harvesting from 10 inch pots and I've harvested some Winston and some Charlotte and I think I've harvested Jazzy as well. I'm not too sure about Maris Pia but I've got some spare compost now and these guys want to be, uh, these pots want to be topped up so that's what we're going to do now. But just before I do that uh, I'm going to move Charlotte, Maris Pear and Jazzy to one side and I'm going to bring in another Winston for you to have a look at. Okay so we've moved the other uh, three potatoes to one side, we left Winston where he was. This potato in the pot next to Winston is another Winston and it's a fridge potato um, but it's been in that pot about six weeks. Uh, so the Winston on the left, three weeks, the Winston on the right, six weeks. Both fridge potatoes. So that's how much growth we've got in three weeks on a Winston fridge potato. Right, let's get the barrow into the shot uh, and let's top these pots off. Okay, this is Winston. Um, there's a danger when we top this pot off that we might damage some of this top growth. If I just show you the pot that way, you might be able to see. I'm not too sure how you get in this, but it's half full. But we want to fill that pot now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this plant pot to protect Winston by putting it over Winston. Okay. Now I'm going to fill round the plant pot then jiggle it out. Okay. This is compost that's already been used. It's possibly grown Winston's or Charlotte's um, this year. And I've reinvigorated it with some potato fertilizer. And some coffee grounds. So I'm now going to top this pot up with this compost and hopefully get a second crop of potatoes from the same compost in the same year. Okay now why are we doing this? Well it might be a good idea to try and get some of our own potatoes ready for Christmas. Um, and so I've delayed the chicken of these potatoes with that in mind. Um, as I say, they've only been in this pot for a week. Uh, I want to grow these guys on through autumn and possibly into winter. Uh, and then I may take them into the greenhouse and stand them. They'll probably have grown by then, uh, but I don't harvest them then. I, I want to try and perhaps produce some potatoes for Christmas. How's that? How's that? Okay. Now we'll do this by hand. Okay, that's Winston topped up. We'll pop the ticket back in and put him to one side. This is Charlotte, we'll do the same with Charlotte. We'll pop this protector on. Oh, 
Oh, sir. That shell had topped off. Pop the ticket back in. Job's a good one. Okay, this is Maris Pier. Now Charlotte and Winston only have one seed potato in the pot. I've looked on the ticket here, and this uh, Maris Pier actually has three potatoes in this pot. Is that what it says? Yeah, there are three seed potatoes in this pot. Now I know that's far too many for a small 10 inch pot, um, but they're only small seed potatoes. And I, was, I, I didn't really know whether I'd have enough pots and compost and what have you, so I banged them in. But if you look at it, you can see, look, there's one there, one there, and this one here right there. So there's three of them growing. So we'll top this one up as well. I'll have to do this one by hand because I can't cover all three. So we'll gently cover the small one. We'll shake the rest in. And the last one, I'm not going to uh, cover it just yet, and I'll show you why when I finish covering this uh, Maris Pier. Okay, three Maris Pier in a 10 inch pot, sitting on a patio. Hopefully ready for Christmas. Um, but if I have to take them sooner than that, I will do. Uh, we'll just have to see what the uh, weather throws at us, what the growing conditions are like this year. I'll pop that ticket in. Okay. Now this one, as you can see, is jazzy. Um, if I turn this pot up with the camera, there are three in here, by the way. As you can see, it's very, very spindly. It hasn't made the top of the pot just yet. Um, so I'll perhaps give that another week, just to clear the top of that pot, and then we'll top this pot off with, uh, with compost. Okay. So, oh, I'm out of puff. So that's it for today. Um, we'll top these pots off. It's all fridge potatoes on the go. Um, Let's just uh, stand them to one side and see how they go. So this is homegrown veg, signing out. <laughs>